I am at the show 2024 with Peter Norback, founder and designer at PBN Audio. Peter, great to see you. Likewise. We have standing beside us the MR exclamation mark 777. Yes. Why do you pick model names that only you can remember? <laughs> uh, this model name was actually picked by this design started out as a custom design for our uh, Thailand distributor in Asia. They are very into numbers. And so he said, you're going to build this one for me. You're going to call it triple seven. So start out as a custom order and then actually turned out so well that I put it in the line. So he just picked three random numbers and it doesn't like it's because it's like 77.7 .7 inches tall or something. No, <laughs> it's 84 inches tall. Who makes the drivers? Who makes your 18 inch drivers? I actually make them. It could either be a um, 2240, it could be a E155, it could be a 2245. It's no longer made and I completely strip them down to bare bones. I have the frames uh, sandblasted and repowder coated and then all the moving parts, spider, coil, cone, surround, everything is new. So it's, it's basically like a new driver. And is that the same for the 12 inches? Uh, that's a current driver. This one here is one that I've refurbished, but it's a, it's a model 2206. And from whom do you source the ribbon driver? That comes from a Dutch company called States a Company, and um, it's a pro ribbon, but uh, it's incredibly suitable for hi-fi. So uh, it's a 12 ohm uh, driver and it's 107 dB efficient. How does that compare to the similar, similar concept RAL ribbon drivers? This is a lot sturdier. The frequency range of the speaker is spec by you as being extremely flat, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz plus or minus 1 dB. Yes. Is such a flat frequency response necessarily desirable as opposed to a gently downward sloping frequency response? Does the flat frequency response not risk edginess in the presence region? Uh, not with a driver like this. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Um, it's, a, it's a smooth sounding driver. It's got incredible extension and it goes out to 40K. What is the slope? I know the crossover frequencies are 200 the, hertz and 1200 hertz. They're very but steep. At, at what's, uh -huh. They're very steep. They have to be. So 18 dB? Uh, more like 50 and 60. Really? Yeah. What's the design thinking behind that? Um, because that the, uh, these are crossover at 1200 hertz, right? And you've got to have some protection from the, of the ribbon. So you've got to have a very steep slope also to make them phase correctly together. You, you have to do that. But isn't the higher order crossover make phase matching more complicated? It does. So you've got to know what you're doing. And how do you accomplish maintaining phase at a crossover of 50, 60 dB? Um, you should look at the graphs at the, on, the, on the website, and uh, you can see how the drivers, they come mm -hmm. down. And then you should, what you look at is how they sum together at the crossover point. Now, you're crossing over to the ribbon driver at 1200 hertz. Yeah. So that ribbon is handling a significant part of the frequency range. Right. Why only one six inch ribbon driver and not two or three or perhaps a line array? Why have so much of the frequency range squirting out of just one six inch driver? Uh, because it can handle it. And I mean, you don't want these going up too high, then they start mm -hmm. beaming. Mm -hmm. Is and that? You, so? Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't want to cross over at, um, you know, you could run these up to 2K, but then they wouldn't match properly with mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. Now, we have 18 inches, 12 inches, and the ribbon. I'm somebody who would add subwoofers to a ham sandwich, so I totally understand the attractiveness <laughs> of driver surface area yep. and the attractiveness of massive wooferage. In what domestic situation would you recommend to a client adding the four 18-inch base tower in addition to the, the MR exclamation 777? In a decent-sized room, uh, you probably don't need them. It is something that you want uh, because it is just overly impressive. Like we played an organ recording right now earlier, where it's called the Seven Last Words of Christ, and I believe it's of a Nagra uh, test audiophile recording, and it is just spectacular. And if you got to do a pipe organ, you need this. Well, with the flat frequency response of the of the MR777, how does the adding the bass system change that frequency response? It doesn't. It just, this is run full range. Mm -hmm. And right now I have these crossed in at 70 hertz. Mm -hmm. And because they're so efficient, I have them down about 20 dB. So 
This is actively powered, has its built-in amplifier. Yep. That's a Class D amplifier. It's ice power, mm -hmm. and it has two times 700 watts. So these two are driven by 700 watts, mm -hmm. and these two are driven by 700 watts. This is full range, so you're just bringing this up underneath side in addition to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And about at about 70 hertz. Yeah. And when you use the base tower, are you doing anything to the contour of this, or this is running the no, exact same I, full I range? I run this full range because I don't want to run this to any kind of electronic crossover. I get that. So whether the base tower is there or not, this is doing the same thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the next new product we should expect from PBN? A vacuum tube phono preamplifier. Interesting. <laughs> and will that include a DS audio um, decoder as well? Uh, probably not. Mm -hmm. uh, reason for that is that the DS audio needs about 26 dB of gain plus the filter in front of it. A moving magnet needs about 44 dB of gain and a moving coil needs about 65, 70 dB of gain. So um, it's hard to change, it's hard to make an amplifier stable if it's going to amplify at 26 dB, at 44 dB, and at 70 dB. Will your phono stage be 100% tube or will it use a step-up transformer? Mm -hmm. uh, it will use a step-up transformer. And where? Moving coil. And who, who step-up transformer are you using? We have not decided yet. We're looking into Jensen's. We're looking into the Billingsworth out of England. Uh, we are looking into uh, some of the Japanese ones. I forgot the names of them right now, but we're looking into several. Okay, Peter, thanks very much. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Great You're to welcome. see you.